Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, Session 16, Part 2. It's the 17th of August, 2019. I am Ryan, the GM, and here are all the players. Oh, yeah. Um, hi, I'm Callum. I play Eric, the sorcerer. Yeah? Human? Yep, that's good enough. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I don't seem to be sure about that. You are, you are. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya, the half elf druid. Hi, I am Scott. I am playing Crumbar, who is a half orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kit the Kill, a tabaxi rogue. And hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. And welcome back. <laughs> uh, right, so. You were leaving the office of uh, <laughs> the acting High Commander. Uh, you all had a wonderful meeting with uh, High Commander Adonash and all got on swimmingly, I believe, is what exactly happened. Um, so <laughs> as you are kind of like walking down that corridor after the doors kind of slam behind you, I think at some point like Crumbar is maybe walking ahead, maybe a bit grumbly, I guess, and like Aramos runs up beside you and is like, maybe you can fix it and holds up like the hammerhead. I know, I, I just go, I just look at him and go, thank you, take it off of him and I'm just storming towards the uh, armory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think at that point like he does that thing where you like pick it up and go thank you but then you're still kind of angry so you're still kind of seething mm -hmm. if it was animated yeah, it's like coming off of you. And then yeah. you storm away, and he does that thing where he slows down his steps because he doesn't necessarily want to try and keep up with an angry orc. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, where's everybody else going? Somewhere else. I'm annoyed at the drow. I mean, wow. Drow. Oh. I will replace her as that because she was a wow. bitch. Don't you n word her, please? <laughs> I nearly did. <laughs> I thought you was going to. I was just like, oh, I had to no. bite my tongue and stay raised. <laughs> yeah, I'm heading to the armory. I think that was pretty obvious. Yeah, I figured yeah. that would be obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Off to the armory as well. But um, wait, I don't. Uh, did I miss that? Uh, the a hammer. Are we taking that to the armory for them to see if they know anything about it? I mean, so I mean, I'm curious no, about so that. the only thing you didn't miss anything about that hammer. It was just. Uh. Ermos picked up the hammer head that came off of Scrumper's hammer uh, and handed yeah. it back to him, and he's just when he get that yeah, fixed. Wandered off. Um, but... As for Eric's hammer, Eric. that's a good question. Yeah, no, I'm might... not taking it to him. They might be able to help you use it. I doubt that. Still you saw the disgust in her face. Yeah. We'll find someone else. She won't be at the armory. Huh. No, but how creepy would it be if she was though? Uh, yeah. <laughs> who who is, is at the armory? Is it, it Drekka? Oh, right, yeah. Like that, she was there that, and she was she, lovely. she get. All right, that's. <laughs> like their twin sister is uh... totally upset. <laughs> yeah. Helinda I... or something. <laughs> I want to go study this hammer myself and see if I can pick up anything. Like the way you studied that book. Exactly. You might not have enough hit points for that. You see the book where he like, tucked in his backpack, hanging out with yes. like, the shining kind of leaf tune on it. You just see it evolve into an evil smile. <laughs> evolve? You noble human you? <laughs> I think it's... <laughs> Sorry, conservative. No, <laughs> Pardon you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so... Eric, do you go off to like I don't know, find somewhere quiet then? Yes. Like I don't want the the only two paladins I trust with this hammer right now are Crumbar and Reach. After yeah, yeah, you're currently that. going the opposite direction from them. Yeah, but I don't want to go toward more paladins. I want to go to a secluded spot where I can I don't know, like try and meditate with it. Or well, try you're just in the like golden order. there is lots of paladins in the Golden Order. Is there not like a rooftop somewhere? There's plenty, yeah. You can go wandering again if you want. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. How's your rules for yeah, finding out? Let's just, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's just do that now. Let's roll survival for him now. We'll see what happens. Right, okay. Right, I'm, I'm confused. Why is he rolling survival? Uh, to navigate. Right, okay. So, just... that's fine. You wander off and we'll deal with you when we deal with you. Um, 
I assume Weech, you don't put up much of a fight for that, or you do? Like, do you try and stop him wandering off, or what? Ah, uh, it's pointless. No, at the moment it's pointless. So yeah, let him wander. Uh. Yeah, I think everybody's temper, like tempers, are a wee bit, you know, ruffled. Maybe is the best way to put it. Uh, yeah. Safe to say, I'm pissed. Yeah. So, Arya, do you head to the armory with the gang? Um, I was just doing a bit of an inventory, and I've not actually used any of my gold arrows, uh, well, not gold order arrows, yeah, gold arrow. so, yeah, exactly, um, so I actually am not going to take anything, mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't need anything replenished then. Keep in mind, um, as well, you are welcome to supply the place if you have things you don't need. <laughs> True. Which might I be mean, the first idea. Yeah, because to be honest, I have not used the dots at all. So let's. I think and... these are all heading to the armory anyway. I think as a group, maybe you okay, just, yeah. You wander with everybody to the group, and we'll deal with Eric in a bit. So, mm -hmm. and I think yeah, as the corridors go, like maybe reach you see that uh, Aramos is kind of standing a bit like dejected from. Grumbar and he looks down the corridor at Eric, which was like his other person he spoke to, and he's obviously wandered off the other way, and then he kind of just looks up at you and then just kind of walks side by side with you towards the armory. Um, and then he's all heading. Uh, Grumbar, you get there first though, obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Uh, is the armor there? Uh, no, I'd say you probably just have access to the place, right? It's just a storage room, all right. really. That, right, so it's just a storage room. This isn't like a I? blacksmith's. Yeah, no, but I mean, you'd, you'd expect, I'd expect there to still be somebody there to keep well, in. Well, used to be in charge of that, right? Mm -hmm. Broga hasn't been seen in two months. Mm, yeah, surely they would have had some kind of replacement. Maybe they're so, a, maybe so, they're so no, <laughs> Right, so nobody else is in the armory. Nope. Um, oh God! This I, is can I go over and examine the ha the great hammers that they have? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do I need to do a roll to see if I see anything shiny? No, probably all of it shiny. Like shiny and gold. You know, anything better than the current hammer I had? Well, I mean, the one that's broken. It's mm. probably better than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, he did say had, because I almost jumped yeah, yeah, myself yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, like, you can just replace it, yeah. You can just pick up a new Warhammer. Yeah, but I'm seeing if there's one that I can get that'd be even better, because my Warhammer then now is plus uh, 1d10 plus 3. So I'm wondering no, if not, I can... It's 1d10, it's just that your strength gives it plus 3. <laughs> Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Well, is, I'm seeing if there's one that can give me any more There is not. Attack. That is, in fact, yeah. peak hammer. It peak is hammerage. Peak, peak hammerage. Okay. Um, I, sit, I look about and pick up a couple of hammers and give them a test swing. And uh, on, like, the third hammer I pick up, I just feel Sorry, careful of any doors when you're doing that. Uh, I I uh, give it a wee swing about, and it just some you know it just I feel a feel a certain attachment to this one. Like, yes, this one she'll do as a replacement, and uh, just like that, I've literally just like like the broken hammer that I've kind of left on the floor. I'm just like completely disregarded as if it ever yeah. existed. I'm like, now, nope, this has been my only hammer. Now, do, you, <laughs> do you hang around in the armor or do you just head off somewhere? No, I hang about. Because um, obviously you'll and... take a bit of time to do this because obviously I'm going to give yeah. people time to like catch up to your timeline as it were, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm, he's, I'm like, getting his fucking golf caddy full of hammers to test out on the hammer range, what's everybody <laughs> else up to here? <laughs> uh, um... Surprisingly, taking stuff out of my bag because cal traps eh, don't need them. So right they can go so bye bye. Type in the chat what you're leaving then, and like so, uh, okay. it's, so it's documented somewhere. Um, 
and yeah, cool. Uh, so you're actually stalking the place for a change. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's that's shocking. But at the same time, it is a good point because obviously, I think, um, like as Zadreka tried to kind of mm. highlight with her comments, that's like try not to leave us barren, you know, because if it mm. is as dangerous as you say, and you're wanting us to pull back all the paladins, that could in fact leave us vulnerable. We'll need equipment. Also, you could all be demon people trying to get me to pull <laughs> back all of the, you know, paladins that secure the world. So why would I do that? You know, people with demon travel hammer. <laughs> and crumbar. Nope. Oh right. god, thank you. Not demon. Don't, don't mean to do that. Um, I'm right in saying that I cannot use any kind of ranged weapon at all, can I? Oh, you can. You just won't necessarily be good at it. Let, let me see your proficiency list. Let me go to your character sheet. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember where that is. Just in the bottom corner. So yeah, but I, I clicked on it and it. You're good with simple weapons and martial weapons, so just type in yeah. simple weapons or martial weapons into the uh, compendium. Go, go, go. Obviously, why would it tell us what those are? Maybe just look at a player handbook and find that answer for me. <laughs> so I'll probably do. You martial should... weapons. No, it doesn't say. You should all have the player handbook though, and it does have an equipment section. Um, and by that I mean I've shared the uh, completely legally acquired PDF. Uh, I didn't hear no words against it. Right, so weaponry, simple weapons, and yeah, like you are proficient with. Let me check. All simple weapons and all martial weapons. So yeah, you're proficient with. Well, darts for the start. It's a simple weapon. Bows, Crossbows, nets, scimitars, tridents, mm -hmm. slings, short bows, spears. See the weapons list, Grumber? Where is that? On page 149 of the PDF. Uh, right. Where is this PDF? Because I don't seem to have it. This right. was in the past. This is yeah. the you need to have handy. Yeah, but, uh, I did have it. Just... The weapons list, Grumbar, is what you're proficient mm. with. <laughs> Alright, give us a second are then. You, you're buzzing. You're buzzing, are you? You're buzzing. Buzz, buzz. Like a buzzy bee. So what were you after? Am I still? Uh, yep. Not as, not as badly though. Um, what were you after? What was the point of your question, Grumbar? Oh, I was wondering if I should maybe pick up a ranged weapon as well. I mean, you could. Hmm. What about you, Reach? What are you up to? I am actually going to give them some stuff that I'm not using, so mm. I'll keep the darts I've got. But actually, I wouldn't mind a potion of healing or two, but. It's not uh, in the armory, I don't think. Um, yeah, I, you would yeah, be able to sense. acquire them, but you would need to speak to, like, probably. like. I've not been using any of mine, so I'd be able to give some of them, that's fine. Yeah, I'd say, um, Reach, if you wanted to have, like, wandered off while they're doing that, maybe that's what crosses your mind. Um, right. and you I've can... got a few things, first of all, before that, though, but not much. But... That's fine, that's going to be part of it, but you can come back with, like, five. Um, so it's up to you how you divide that up. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, so I just realised that I'm a druid and it says your druids would not wear armor or use shields that are made of metal. Yep. It is a metal. I probably should not have that rest armor plate thing. Just saying. I mean it's useful shiny and gold and pretty and but Well I mean I could... probably shouldn't have it. I mean it's really if you met other druids, they'd probably look oddly at you. But yeah, it's up to you if you want to keep it or change it out. It can be a. I'll leave that up to you as a player to decide how you want your character to feel about it. But yeah, typically sure. druids prefer natural things. So it's, yeah. it's on you. I mean, you did cut 
kit out to go into the abyss. So I don't think MD would really yeah. like judge you. Yeah, but we're no longer going into the abyss, so <laughs> nobody would. Be... Pyro, sorry. Ah, that's okay. So your flare gun, basically. Yeah. Ryan. Mm -hmm. Um, is there any heavy crossbows in the armory? Would I be able to take one and like ten crossbow bolt for it? Sure. How I think a bolt does... case comes with twenty, so Oh it does it? Alright, fair yeah, enough. I'm sure it does. Um how would you go about adding that? Uh, just type it into the compendium. Um Oh. Right, and then I'll just drag it into my inventory. Yep. Also, I have a spear. I don't think I'll be using spears. No, it doesn't you've, really you've done it seem wrong. like. What? <laughs> One second. Have you've a... done it wrong. You've, you've, you've dragged the proficiency over. Oh, crap. How did you even do that? Like. Because you... I'm amazing. So, you typed in. What did you type into the search bar? Crossbow. Ah, right. Okay, proficiency item. Nah. Okay. Got it now. Got it. Yeah. Is it just a heavy crossbow? Because right, so it's heavy crossbow. One plus over. one plus two. You'll plus need three. to drag over a crossbow bolt case, and then a crossbow bolts. Boop. Boop. And then. I'd change that to twenty. Heavy crossbow. Drag that over. Boop. Oh, I think I added into. No, you didn't. Ah, oh, right. There's just two in my weapons bit up the top. I don't know why that is, but we can delete that. Do it, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Right. Cool. Um. So I guess I didn't find a plus one, two, or three then. <laughs> Damn it. Worth a try. Yeah, I mean, sure. Ah, oh, well, that should hopefully give us a bit more. But yeah, you got that now. Uh, mm -hmm. Total is 20 on there as well. It's updated. Uh... Right, cool. So that's you sorted for that. Also, remember, change your Warhammer to Geo Warhammer. Uh, how to. How did that so that? Just find click it on it. In, find it in the inventory list. Right, not the attacks yeah. list, the inventory list. Click on edit. The, so oh. you go to the little... There you go. Like that? Yeah. Check me edit and stuff. It's all dead. Cool. Because it's all golden shit now. Cool. Mm -hmm. Right, um, I'm pretty cool with that. Cool. Uh, right, so Kitty, did you drop everything you wanted to drop? Uh, Not yet, I'm just... Checking because I've gone slightly over carrying capacity. Cool. And Reach, you sorted? Uh, I am in here, yeah. That's yeah. And as I said, point. you can add those five potions, and if you're going to divide them up between the folks, you can, but that's what you get for the group. That's what the uh, <laughs> whoever is a Drek appointed you to to assign right. you know, equipment. I have um, zero potions, so I could. Definitely do with one, preferably two, to be honest. But well, I mean, currently you have five, and it's up to you to well, divide right. that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but who all, who else is low in potions? I've got like three, so I'm fine. You are fine. You've got three. I <laughs> I have one. Kitty and uh, Arya, how are you for potions? I've got four, so that's what I was saying earlier. That if you wanted some, I could give you some of mine. Oh. I've got four. Right. Yeah, we're fine. Right. Eric, take two. <clears throat> I'm not you. with you. Actually. Are you not? Right. Oh, you're heavy breathing on the mic, dude. I'll take five at the moment and I'll remember yeah. you because you're doing a fair amount of your tank in earlier on, so it may happen <laughs> again. <so. laughs> yeah, the injured buggers. <laughs> Plus, I mean, to be fair, his skin did rip open while he was casting magic and like blue light pours out of it, so that's not normal. 
And I think he's going to be investigating a hammer. He'll need hit points. <laughs> <laughs> like he investigated that book. Um, yes. <laughs> Maybe I also don't well. see. Yeah. Don't see myself using my spear. Like I've not yeah, used it. Yeah, well. so minus spear. I mean, they. No, I'm not also, I wanted to ask. Here. I'm not saying it's going to directly affect if this place ever does have to go fighting. I'm just yeah. saying it's a good idea that he's not going to. Look after yeah. places. <laughs> also, can I just ask one thing? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at my weapons here, um, particularly at my proficiencies, right? Um, I don't seem to see short bow there, so I'm guessing that I'm not proficient in short bow. Yeah, I think we had this conversation a f quite but, a few sessions ago, because I think we realised this. And I forgot. Yeah. Um, I forgot what that means or all. I want to use one of the ones I do have a proficiency with, and I get a plus something like that as well. Yeah, so you see your sheet? Yeah. And then... Are you moving stuff or. Yep. What? So oh, oh, okay. I thought it was my computer going that side. Uh, see what it says short bow, attack, dex plus zero proficiency tick or not tick. We untick that because you're not proficient in your short bow. So it does the math for sure. us. Sure. Um, if you were proficient okay. in it, it would get an extra two to the roll. Whereas your spear, sure. if you look down, let's see if we open it again, you are proficient yeah. with it. So it's your strength plus the proficiency bonus, which if you look at the top underneath your inspiration, is currently a two. Everybody's proficiency will go to three at level five though, which is nice. Oh. So we're going to close this over again. Um, but then again, my strength is always going to be a bit meh. But it's yeah. kind of balanced because your strength isn't good but your proficiency applies to spears versus your dex is good but you don't get your proficiency on your bow. So yeah, it's a bit ups and downs. Oh, I think it ends up being the same then. Because yeah. my dex is better, good. But your dex will eventually get better um, if you increase it. Yes. But yeah, also see these plus twos that are in the middle of your sheet? I don't know why they're there. Yeah, I can't even remember either. <laughs> There we go. Okay, thank you. No problem. Right. Uh... Should we think about maybe cutting there or something? <laughs> no, I've... Well, Do I have proficiency in darts? I have you know what? I know what I'm going to do. That's okay. Just... So, Kitty, have you got anything more to, to ditch? Uh, that was it. Because the um, short bow with them arrows, it's just my normal short bow. Mm -hmm. um, I've still got one normal quiver and arrows that I can actually get back. Mm -hmm. Yep. If I sh Are you going to go for like another bolt case then? I was thinking of it, but I was trying to find the item for that one of the moves that I can do once I've leveled up. Like the ca charcoal and stuff, can't bind it. Oh, Would that just mean, be something you, like you have to add? So, mm -hmm. do you have an arcane focus or do you have a. What you call it? Thingy pouch? A components pouch? as items on your character sheet? Uh, no. You would need to acquire either an arcane focus or you would need a components pouch. Right, so that's the item that would cover those components. Ah. See on the VSM part of a spell, obviously verbal, somatic, but people like to just call it sign, as if sign language. Um, mm. so v for verbal, S for sign. And then M is material component. If it does not list a cost, your arcane focus, like a magic ring or something, or a wand, will yeah. cover the cost of it. Or your components pouch is just you're meant to assume to be having a bunch of random crap in it, like a weird druidy woman. Or if it's got a cost listed, like charcoal worth 10 gold, that gets used up. You need the charcoal worth 10 gold. Oh, okay. So does it have a cost for any of those components? Um... Uh... So I'm just going to grab a component pouch into my inventory. No, because there isn't any in here. No! Because this isn't like a magic shop. Where? So um, you would kind of need to either like spend time constructing one, um, which would involve you having to go get random fucking stuff from nature, etc. Or you could try and find an arcane focus somewhere. Um, it says 10 GP worth of charcoal. So, right. So yeah, if that's the case, you can definitely like source that in the golden order, like because you would need 
X amount of money's worth of charcoal. Yeah. So if you need 10 gold's worth of it, why don't you take 20 gold's worth of it? Yeah. And write that on your character sheet somewhere. Even if you just have to uh, type it into an extra line in your... Because uh... that means you could have, like, you know, enough to do that spell twice. Yes. Um, so I just need to take off 20... Yeah, components are expensive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's all my gold gone then. <laughs> Lol. Bye bye, money. It was nice knowing you. Um... No, also, you don't need to spend your money on that. That's something you could just get from the the order. You could ask them for some charcoal, I'm sure they'll give you some. You could probably have got some from, like, the kitchen, like, fire as well. Yeah. So, you don't have to spend your money on that, don't worry. You can put, uh... put your money's back. I did. Good. I was just like, oh, I did not nope, take back, enough. Back, you didn't have to tell back. me twice. In fact, I did more. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely keep an eye out for like buying an arcane focus or a components pouch when you get somewhere that has this stuff. Like Glitter Higgin, you'd probably really find something. Definitely. Yeah. If that's where you're headed next. But anyway, uh, M, do you get anything else armory wise they want to talk to me about? No. Um, yeah. Yep. Do golden arrows disappear? In general, or was just in the abyss? No, they didn't disappear in the abyss. We just didn't and, have time to put, like pick them. In general, they do disappear and return back home here. Yeah, but the abyss is a different uh. place entirely. Yes, because you did read that travel powers don't seem to work at the abyss. Okay. I had understood it completely wrong. Never mind. So, but like on if the boat we... when you were sailing down and you fired stuff from the golden order, it all vanishes in gold light. Yeah, that one. It's like any expendable ammo just gets returned to the like armory. Cause sure. They don't, they don't want like an entire like trail of golden arrows being put into the economy, you know. I guess. It's a way of having responsible ammunition. <laughs> I guess, I guess, I guess, okay. Um, in that the way case... that is go buy normal ammo, right? <laughs> so, just does that mean my seven... Does that mean my seven golden art... Uh, does my seven gold arts also come back here once I shoot them at something? So, did you... As in your darts, I had seven. Sorry, darts, uh -huh. did you say? Yeah, I, I didn't have any until I have I had here. I didn't just I, for some reason just called them darts. I didn't call them geo darts, but I know I got them from here. Uh, to be honest, no, you'd probably really pick them back up because it's the same as like a hand axe that you could throw at someone. You could pick that back up. Sure. Okay, so yeah, fine. I'll get rid of the spear. Go back because the staff could just be used for walking and like watering. You know, like a like a walking stick spear, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. The staff is Most fine. people that would that would have a spear would probably use it that way if they were traveling. Oh, so I don't have to have a staff and the spear then. Oh. I could just have one of them, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, I think I would actually keep the spear then and leave the staff with these guys. Yeah, feel free to. Okay. So plus spear. I love the idea that somebody comes in to clean up the armory at some point or to take account of it and like they stab themselves and all the cow crops kitty just dropped on the floor. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> like, falls over and crawls for help but like a ha like a hammer head from the table falls on them because they're um, obviously a crumbar just dumped it on the table when trying out a bunch of hammers that are lying on the floor <laughs> with uh, a bunch of quivers and everything. It's just brilliant. Uh, and then this random looking druid staff in the corner. Just leaning against the wall. Oh shit, yeah, I probably shouldn't be getting rid of it if it's like proper druid well, stuff. I mean, it just depends how close you are to it, right? Yes. It's not like No, uh... no, no. Okay, I'll get rid of the spears. I was intending to do the same at the you beginning. Can, you can keep the spear. The spear is. It's up to you. But. I wanna leave something. Isn't that a geo spear, though? Yeah. Just a big golden spear? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I think we're just gonna oh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bling druid. That was the circle, the circle of bling. Mm -hmm. um, mm? 
It says that you're a bling druid. That's what I said. A circle of bling. With your golden spear and your golden breastplate. I'm feeling bad about the golden breastplate as well. I mean, I'm it's useful on everything. It's a character choice. You put, you decide and we'll RP it out as we go. Yeah, um, yeah that's fine. Anyway, I don't want to spend too okay, much more I'll time on inventory. Staff. So okay, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. For everybody else. I'll keep the staff. I'll get rid of the spear. Cool. As soon as I figure out how, but that's I'll okay. update yeah. it. We'll deal with that, yeah. Sure. Yeah. And I'll help if I need to as well as we go. Now, as you um, head out of the armory, Grumbar, uh, mm -hmm. you head away. I think we've just kind of got like the last scene of everybody leaving the armory, maybe. Unless anybody's doing anything super desperate in the armory, but I doubt it. Uh, yep, typical. Imagine it was like training a bird and roll again. What do I do? I said roll again. Imagine it was like training a bird this time. Huh? Your spear. Try a track um, again with it. Yeah. Pretend. There we go. See? There you go. Like yeah. training a bird. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're not a leaf in the wind, you're a training the bird. <laughs> why, <laughs> why, is, why, is, why is he stabbing me? Uh, I, I mean, I think we all Do we need a reason yeah. to be honest? <laughs> <laughs> because it's to save the breaker doing it. Just have curiosity. How bad is can, you, can you stop stabbing me? No. <laughs> Weirdly, it's just a habit now. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so you just head out, and then I think the last shot we've got in the armory is just Ermos, like, kind of picking up the broken hammer and setting it, like, on the side. Uh, obviously, because Crumbar just discarded it. So he, like, sets it up on the oh, side bless. and, like, puts, like, the hammer head, like, as if fitting it back onto, like, where it broke off. Um, mm. And he just kind of is, like, he kind of, like, whispers to it something. And then, like, crawls, like, climbs back off the table because he was, like, leaning away up on the table like kids do when they're trying to get cookies from something. And then, uh, he, like, climbs back and then runs after the rest of the people because maybe, like, he hears Reach shouting an air moss or something, being responsible, you know. Um, right, you just head off. Uh, where do you go? What is, what's your plans as a group? Obviously, I know Eric's uh, wandering right now, but, like, you just kitted out, right? Dead, yeah. we, right. Dead, we know it. Aramos. Keep in mind, you haven't had a long rest, so see all that damage you should still technically all have. You mm -hmm. all still have it. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go have a nap. Um, so you just want to kind of like settle in for the night and maybe leave in the morning or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's smart. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That means you can all officially be level four. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, any obviously problematic health situations like falling from library ceilings to the floor, uh, he's going to have healed that now as well. Um, will be an accidentally, accidentally, I quote, a stab mm -hmm. with a spear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> twice. And then, <laughs> yep. So, Eric, you wander for a bit, and then a, a breeze hits you when you're like looking up and down a corridor, and then you know. There's like an open window, you lean over to it, you look out and you see there's clearly a balcony somewhere along the left. So you do that thing where you put your hand on the wall and just keep walking until you eventually find the door that leads to it. So yeah, you found oh. outside and up. <laughs> it seems secluded. Is it secluded? I mean, it's, it's getting on in the day, right? And Citadel is a busy place in general, but it's also huge, right? Um, yeah. Like, I'll move us back to the Citadel page. Actually, remember? I remember this place. Ah, yes. So, am I overlooking everything, or am I not that high up? I'd, uh, I'd say like you're fairly high. Like maybe you're uh, somewhere over this way, maybe. Hopefully not in one of those curved roofs. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like it would be something like see like that flat part there, you know, but obviously like randomly much further in. Yeah. Uh, so it'd just be like a kind of random balcony part that you found, yeah. Cool. I'll go out there, place the hammer on the floor and sit next to it and kind of stare at it going, how does one work this? And like, there is a sense that it's yours, right? And I, I don't mean the sense of, you know, you handed it to a weird smoke monster and it gave you a, a jewel for it, like, you know, it blinged up your hammer. Pimp my hammer would have been a good session title, um, but yeah, like there's a like a pool, a calling, you know, um, 
which again, natural magic vibes, normal for you, right? Things, yeah. you know, go like currents, as it were. Um, and there's definitely like a, your hand wants to be on it, if that makes sense. Like it's definitely, feels like yours. Right. I guess put my hand on the red gem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you want to give me an arcane roll? Yep. Yep. You're touching a red gem. <laughs> <laughs> now, how long are you going to spend here? I uh, doing this like kind of sheer deep meditation with it. Uh, An hour or two. Because yeah, like I think that that makes sense until you then realize you've lost everyone in the party. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so you spend like an hour or two kind of like focusing on this thing. Um, like, I think because you have never really been trained in magic, because uh, your parents were very much a conceal don't feel yeah. uh, group. Um, Lol. Yeah. For shame, Ryan. For it, no, shame. It's true though. Like they they weren't fond of his like him talking to himself about magic lightning um they kind of told him off as a kid but yeah because of that like this doesn't come easy for you you have to like sit and properly focus on this you try and have to shut out everything and like as you're trying to like focus on this like the crystal of the hammer the actual hammer itself like you know it, it it's almost like you know somebody wants to speak to you but they're too shy to talk you know that type of like you get from someone where like i know we'd be friends if we just spoke <laughs> yeah. Um, so you get that kind of cold shoulder vibe for a bit, and then, uh, like, as you try and like clear your mind of everything, you can't quite shift some of the horrors of the abyss, right? Because that was pretty dramatic. Um, yeah. Yep. Darkness, demon Double mouths. Things, yeah, like chomping, lots of chomping, dragons that were better dragons before, and yeah, like, what gods and monsters, right? Um. Cult of the King, right? So, lots of flashes of things. Um, you know, lots of chompings and stabbings and exploding men and strange black marble floors. And, uh, yeah, you sit and meditate away. I'll deal with Can it. I try push, like, my magic into it? Not trying to attack it? Like, trying to focus my magic going through what magic the... What do you have left? Cantrips. <laughs> so, so nothing. <laughs> Do you mean you want to cast shock and grasp? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because <laughs> that's what I heard. <laughs> like, well, what would you do then? Like, just like, like I don't know. Just focus on my hand touching the gem, and just like any sort of magic, I like anything I have left to just try, like. Focus it toward my hand. So, like, I'm kind of like my it, my eyes are closed. I've got I've got the image of my hand on the hammer with all the flashing and stuff in the background, and I'm just trying to like yeah, like if it was if it was a comic book, we'd have out. the hammer right at the front of the panel, right on the ground. Your hand would be on like the hilt of it, where the jewel is like encrusting all over the thing as the the, the veins of red rubik all over it and that's all glowing red through the hammer and then you've got your hand on it your eyes all glowing blue and then in the background instead of a backdrop it's just all like random flashes and imagery of all the kind of montages of the entire abyss scene that yeah be and i'm just trying i'm trying to like black that out so it's just me and the hammer mm -hmm. uh, so yeah like if you, what would you be sending into it if you were putting magic into it then right because obviously you are drained right just any sort of energy I have left, whether that's like... Which is, you tell me, like, you need to have something here, man. What have you got? <laughs> Don't be shocking grass. I mean... He's got the power to believe in you himself. Tell me, you said cantrips to me, and I know that's all you've got left, so... <laughs> I can't remember which HP I've got left, that's the thing. Because <laughs> obviously when we, love, when we love it up, it like... Up to it, so I'm just sat there like, hmm. Yeah. I can afford to do one shocking grasp. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. What if you crit it? I should still be fine. I think I'm about 20. I don't think I can kill myself. Uh, okay. 
Don't think. Son of a bitch! Oh, oh, wow, why did I say that? that was... <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh god, that's too that funny. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> I wonder if we could watch this. Oh, <laughs> is there popcorn in this world? Can we all Spike. Take, uh, like just a lottery ticket together as a team, maybe? We could maybe just <laughs> oh, go on, uh, um, God, that's awesome. Uh, that is awesome. Why can't you do that in a fight? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> he does it at the end of fights to leave. Him, right? when, he hits the ground when it comes down, down to, <laughs> when it comes down to like self harm, yeah, you do it. <laughs> yep. Um, take that floor. Take that knee. Um, right, okay. So you, I don't know. Die. Maybe even out of frustration, right? Like channel or like you tell me because i don't want to like rp the character for you like what is the feeling you have when you're trying to like sit like you try and send power into it but there's you know there's nothing of any depth you've got left right because short and grab is easy for you i was yeah. just pretty much ouch by the way but mm -hmm. yeah that's the feeling but anyway i guess it's more like a feeling of i'm trying to black everything out and i just i I guess I can't. So it's you, um, so like it's all the, still vivid. When you try and get rid of everything else, is the lightning all that's left? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so you learn the name of the hammer. Oh. It's the Eye of the Storm. Nice. Oh, yes. I need to write this down somewhere. Yeah, it's called here the ah yeah i of <laughs> the storm maybe jump because i did click but my mouse was hovering over it i was like oh yep and let's see oh. can i just say i have that mental image of like Eric being sat outside somewhere, like not realizing that actually our window is like where our bunks are, are just like <laughs> across the way. It's literally and, just above it, and you're looking down at it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'll be here, oh, well, as we're sort of, you know, getting ready for bed, our backs are turned to it, but we just see this like flash of light light up, and we all just sort of go, all right, who had the bet on him using his lightning? <laughs> 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 Pay up. <laughs> Because we know straight away what that is. Like, oh yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and you're typing this up beforehand, who's going to make sense? Yeah. Look out, no clouds. Yeah, it's definitely Eric. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> right, in theory, that should be you. Yeah. Uh, I need to adjust that. There we go. That should be it. There we go. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can go have a read at it if you wish. It's got some... Oh jeez. Yeah. <laughs> so, while you're having a read oh, at that, let's go geez. deal with everybody else. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, everybody else goes to, like I guess, your old rooms, because does that make uh -huh. sense? Yeah. yeah. So, as in, any conversations or anything you want to have before you are settling in for the night? So, do you want to go find Eric? <laughs> He's quite <laughs> easy to find. Um... He's having the barbecue on the roof. <laughs> barbecue? Yes, <laughs> the barbecue yeah. on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no, not the new ropes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Somewhere in a distant tower, Dane twitches. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many presents. As soon okay. as I realise what I've done to my robes, all you hear is no. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let's assume Eric uh, his excitement subsides and he uh, settles in for the night, shall we? Unless you want to do anything in the meantime. I mean, it's up to you. Like you can go find a room somewhere, right? <laughs> Let's go find a room and crush in it. I mean, sure, right? The place yeah. is huge. Um, Smile. 
Yeah, so you can all have your long rest. We can fast forward to the morning unless Ender's got anything else to want to do before morning. No? No. Nope. Good, good morning. Mm, good. Have a wee glug, but yeah. no. Well, I mean, you still have the craft, right? So. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine you'd left that in the abyss. That'd be horrible. <gasps> Useful if somebody got You're lost there once. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the quest that, for the golden carafe. <laughs> that makes, that ma makes me want to cry. No. Yeah, we'll fast forward to the morning and. Yeah. Obviously, Eric isn't glowing blue anymore. Happy days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's good that he's not blue. Is he still alive? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very much so. With my new magic camera. Hmm. Where, your doing? Yeah, um so have we just kinda like all woken up in our Yeah, you can be in like a big bunk room or something. No worries. Um what time is it roughly? Morning. <laughs> I get up and I uh turn around to Eric and go I would very much like to test out this new hammer of mine. If you would care, if you're up for a bit of practice, and there's a grin. <laughs> I'm looking at go. Sure, maybe it's time I uh, give my new hammer a swing. <laughs> uh, and me and him proceed to the courtyard. Wait, uh, yeah. does anyone want to come see see this uh, I've amazing? I've a new line to it, by the way, as well. There's something I didn't have, but it now has. A new line to just hammer. All right. Ooh. Yeah. That Ooh. Yeah. I like. Figured. What is it? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> Sorry, I just closed it automatically out of habit there, so. Yeah, no, I dread it. Uh, right, okay, so Crumbar Challenge is a. Uh, Eric, what does everybody else do as they wake up probably hearing Crumbar? Just a loud voice. <laughs> I wouldn't mind watching, but yeah, so I'd be handy if I could grab some chicken wings on the way or something like that, but yeah. <laughs> Kitty returns with mm -hmm. said chicken wings, probably. <laughs> Already, like, been to the, the uh, <laughs> oh god, what's called it, the mess hall. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> just kicking the door open as well. No, that would be it. They're running out the door to go to the courtyard, and I'm just sort of there, like, end up getting squished against the wall while they barrel past. I'm just, like, yeah. food in my mouth, like, what's going on? <laughs> ah, you brought the food, but I, we've got the entertainment. Follow us. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're just there taking the food off me. I'm just, like, indig. indig oh, I can't do words. Like, indignified. Indig. I can't think of words. You were like, yeah, just like, uh, mm. undignified? I don't know. Just like, because I've got food in my mouth, I'm just oh. sort of like, mm. <laughs> You're taking the food off. I'm just like, how dare you? I feel so betrayed. <laughs> well, yeah, you can head off to see like the training room if he's wanted. Uh, the kind of big training courtyard thing that Broga and all that were training in. Yeah, it's good there. Uh, you can head there, yeah. So yeah, you get there. It's not that far from where you were staying. So. <laughs> Mm. How are we going to start this in Kumba? Someone going to count so, us down? No, we're going to just have at it. Nice wee Joe. So, uh, Ryan, what are we rolling for this? I don't know. What are you trying to do? Just a wee spar. We'll roll initiative. Uh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> yeah, let me just delete the initiatives first and we'll add them in. Right, so... Let's add this in. So, Eric, the move. Fumble bar. What? <laughs> Turn order. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Or barbecue. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a drink when you did that. Yep, well, swallow hard. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't want to waste it, do I? Jeez. Right, okay. Um, There's a mature rating on this video, I'm sure. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to look at Cumbar and go, the hammer's got a name, you know. It's called the Eye of the Storm. Let's see, let's see how well you do when I hit you with it. I'm just going to swing. I think when you say that, you can tell the hammer's happy about that. Like, <laughs> it enjoys you enjoying having it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, God, if you start saying my precious, I'm going to smack it. <laughs> oh, now people can read it. Mm. I don't think that hits anyway. It does not. That would miss his AC, which is more, I assume. Way more. What's your AC, Crumbar? Stop reading. Answer your question. Uh, 18. 18. Yeah, it does not hit. Crumbar. Mm -hmm. Fumble bar. <laughs> I go, well, my hammer also has a name. It's called Smashy Your Face In, and I swing my hammer right at his face. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Boom. You do. I think that might hit. Unless, what's your AC, Eric? 12. Yeah, that definitely hits. Even, <laughs> even with a shield spell, that hits. Yep. Uh, Roll damage. So, all oh, right, are we doing it for damage? You, I thought we were just sparring. You with a two-handed warhammer. Take Ow. seven damage. Uh, she got, like, bloodied across the, the face with a hammer. Oh, now it's personal. Mm -hmm. Hey, come back, you were in full plate. Maybe. <laughs> can, can I tell he's wearing full plate? I imagine he's wearing full plate. This <laughs> I'm imagining you can. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty golden and glimmering in general, so. Yeah. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm gonna get a little cheeky shocking grasp out there. Damage. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, <laughs> so, um, did that tickle? Are you using the? In fact, do you even need to use the focus for that one? Does it have any uh... components? No, it doesn't, does it? So, I have an advantage on an attack roll. That's about it. Oh, you can roll again. You might get crit. Good point. So I take one point of damage. Wait, just now. Nope, it's the same anyway. So yeah, one point of damage. Uh, what's the other effect on it? Yeah. Uh, you can't take reactions until the start of its turn. Until the start of mine of its next turn, even. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, what if it's combat? I just kind of like grunt at it when I was like. I thought this was a test of hammers. <laughs> I just grin at him. All right, then I wind up a no. <laughs> I think at this point, like, Eremos is tugging on, like, both Arya and Reach, whichever one's going to answer him first, basically. What's up, Eremos? Why are they fighting? Because they're stupid. He kind of like, just kind of like looks at them, and doesn't look at you, and kind of just actually like nod. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to take another swing, and bam! You like Whoa. swing, and he like ducks under the hammer swing, and you smack him, like kind of crack the floor. Yep. Yeah. And that's another hammer broken? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> this, isn't, oh! this isn't quite the High Commander's, like, door. You're not trying to break into the office of the High Commander. <laughs> just a training room that's designed to get broken. I don't want to use a spell slot on you. <laughs> I would have, but I don't want to. Oh, come on, man. It's a test of hammers. It's a melee. I mean, if it's a test of hammers, I'll just swing with a hammer. Just don't kill me. <laughs> I'm not a melee oh, yeah. character. It still doesn't hit. Still no, doesn't hit. <laughs> so it's just kind of like grazed off my sh my armor, and no, I'm just, just like, kind of you've like swung down. He's like ducked underneath, and then smacked into like I don't know your shoulder or something. It's just clanged mm. off your shoulder. <laughs> this is just like boing. So that's not worked very well, and 
Uh, me grinningly laughing, pull my hammer back up from the ground, and... Is that a hit? I don't know what your AC is. Uh, yeah, fuck it, it's a hit. <laughs> I don't want to use a spell slot, I just don't. <laughs> so it hits, and... Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck! I'd say that knocks you flat on your ass, <laughs> and... We have a good gig. I have a good giggle, and yeah, I think doesn't knock him on his ass because you don't have anything that does knock down, which is a yeah. Thing. I'm just saying story wise. <laughs> oh no, I'm just and... saying mechanically, it doesn't happen. Mm. Uh, and I just to describe recoiling and falling if you wanted to. <laughs> okay, right. So in fact, yeah, let's do that. So pull the hammer back up on the upswing. I get him square in the chest, and Eric, what happens? I stumble backwards, like clearly in pain, and I just spit a bit of blood out and go, It's just a spar, it's just a spar. I just look at you with a big grin on my face and go, uh, Do you wish to continue? I'm like, If we continue, I won't hold back. Bring it. Bring you? Okay. <laughs> you sure you want to continue? I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> oh, this is a can, waste. Can Arya and Reach both roll perception? Of course. Yeah. Kitty, you're welcome to do it as well if you want, if you'd be paying That's attention fine. to Eremos, that is. Uh, or you would so be watching the idiots. Perception, like... did you say? Yeah. I'd be t- too busy eyeing up the plates of food if they've got any left. Yes! Oh, wow! Jeez! Oh, Do you want to join us, Reach, for the crit success? Oh, can you? <laughs> <laughs> That's where you're going to roll a one. Yeah. Well, it would still be a crit. Damn. Nope. Oh. Yeah, damn. Right. Arya, can you roll sense motive with advantage for me? Kitty, uh, so... you can just have got a whiff of a... Uh, clearly, I don't know, like a bakery? Or something like somebody baking bread or whatever. <laughs> yeah. If you want to just wander off and get. So like, what would be? Food. Yeah. Uh, advantage uh, sense motive. Uh, Reach, you're too busy watching the idiots to be honest. Yeah. yeah. I don't even Eric know what that would be. Sense one second. Motive. Sense motive. Yeah. Alphabetical. Sense... I can't see Insight. that. Insight. Sorry, God, I'm an idiot. Insight. Sense motive. <laughs> oh, I was I was very confused there. Insight. So you should have incited what I meant. Um, yeah, wow. the insight, it's in here, and even though it's off of windows, now, oh yes, it does have a plus, never mind, I'm an idiot. Cool. Um, but yeah, you, you can see Armas is getting distressed. He's getting what? Very distressed at the fight. Oh, about them fighting? Yeah, um, especially yeah. like... Like, one of them's just spat blood, the other one's like, you know, you know, if we're going to fight, I'm not going to hold back. And then he's like, bring it. <laughs> and obviously then they go to do their enemy run at each other. And... <laughs> or lightning about to coming off me now. So... Yeah, okay. So I noticed this and I approach her and I said... There's, there's not time. There's just time huh? to have noticed it. I just wanted to see if there was anything that, you know, you don't have really time to act on it. It's just you're now aware that he is not comfortable. At all, oh, them fighting like okay. he's maybe still holding on to like the robes, like your kind of cloak and tunic, and that obviously reaches robes. Okay, when he was tugging on the middle, he's probably not letting them go, he's probably still clenched fist, white knuckled. Um, on that, back to the so I don't get to say anything to her. Okay, that's fine. If it's, okay. if it's very brief, that could have happened yeah, while yeah, they're yeah, having yeah. their monologue, yeah, you can totally, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I was about to say, like. People do this sometimes in a, you know, controlled environment like this. They test their, their strengths and their abilities against Even somebody that, all trusts over his head. not to. Yeah, all over his head. Um, yeah, oh, okay. So, whose turn is it now out of Lord Barbecue and Fumble Bar? Uh, barbecue's turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hits. Nice. Ouch. 
Five damage? Nope. Nope. Nine. How's it nine? Because it's nine. It's a level two spell slot. Four plus five. Yeah. You try and oh, right, okay, there. so is that the four plus five? Right, okay. And, and this three. lightning is red. Yeah. I figured. So you literally hold out the hammer and then zap lightning from it. You. Yep. Okay, if that's the case, then it's a. I don't think. Is it adding it on? Let's see. Uh, it's actually 10 damage then. Because of the hammer as well. Yeah. It should be adding a plus one. Okay, so. I don't know if I've got that right, but I haven't. More tests in the future. Yeah. Let's see if I can fix that while we, while we do this nonsense. Um, right, well, you've just been hit with the fucking ongoing stream of red lightning. Um, let me switch pages for you here, Rick. Um, so you can just you can see that my muscles are contracting and I'm in like probably like at your neck because that's probably the only part we can really see. Yeah, and it's that kind of like grunt, a kind of that. I'm wanting to kind of scream in pain, but I can't because I'm being electrocuted. So it's like paralyzing my mark, my mouth muscles. But um, as it stops. Oh, it don't stop. What? It does no, this stop. keeps Actually, going. It's ongoing. Yeah. You're still oh. being shot with red lightning. It has not stopped. <laughs> All right. Well, I summon must of the strength bring hammer at your at your shoulders. <laughs> yep. I can't stop that. You can't stop what's coming. Boom. <laughs> How much damage have you uh, taken here, Eric? You've taken quite a bit. I mean, the lightning's still hitting you. <laughs> How, what's is. your max HP? <laughs> 26. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ryan can see my HP. <laughs> it's uh, not looking pretty, I can tell you that. Uh, well, with the you, crunch of the hammer hitting my shoulder, um, and with how damage I am, I'm just going to drop the lightning go. We carry on, I'm dead. What, say? We carry on, I'm dead. <laughs> so you surrender? <laughs> I was like, if I was going full blast straight away, this would have been a different fight. But it's not a different fight. It's this fight. And do you surrender? For now. 1-0 to you, Crumber. <laughs> on that, I... Reach out my hand to pick him up. Like to give him a hand up. Obviously, I take the hand. Ugh. It's my hand. Now. Run away. On and on pulling you back up, you just notice that the that my hands just start kind of glowing, like oh. nice and shiny gold, and you feel a warm feeling go over you, and I'll heal you for ten using oh. lay a hand. Just so you know, you got me down to one HP. <laughs> Plus, and then Arya, you see uh, Aramos like let go of the like the robes that he's been holding. And then after he's been healed, I just kind of put my arm around him, and then go. Now let's go drink, ha ha ha, and then stomp, yes. stomp off. I need a good drink. You'll be drinking on the boat because we're heading now. That's when he catch the tide. Whatever ah, that is. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Crumbar just sighs. I hate boats. You barely remember the last one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Remember the last time we was down in the thing being sick the whole time? I thought you slept for a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Right. Yeah, so, so think, yeah. Like, I think you just head off then uh, from the room. Uh, and yeah, I think Eremos just kind of still stares at like the big kind of crack in the floor. Uh, like where Crumbar had missed Eric, and it left like a kind of like broken like kind of plate, if you will, on the floor, like in a kind of cronky concrete tiled type idea. Um, so yeah, who, who's last out of the room? Well, I'm just walking in as people are walking out, and I'm yeah, just like, like with loads of bread rolls and miss? stuff, like <laughs> fresh, warm bread. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love how you've been like there's been this like epic fight going on 
Bread? <laughs> she just literally got a whiff of food and went, mmm, that smells nice. Um, but yeah, so Arya maybe? Reach? That'd be one of us, yeah. but yeah, I don't know which one, but yeah. I'll put Ed either way. Because mm -hmm. he's still probably attached to me, but after the exit, I'll be like, yeah, as you can see, grown ups can do stupid things sometimes for the sake of trying to prove themselves against each other. They'll be fine, though. Come on. And then he's, he's still kind of staring. He's like, this time it seemed different, though. Like when. When Reach fought Crumbar, that seemed for fun. This mm -hmm. seemed different. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. I think maybe they went a bit less controlled, a bit further than they would have otherwise, simply because we have this room here that's specifically made for this so it's you know there's no risk of actually ruining things or and obviously there's a lot of us here that can heal so if anything had gone really badly we could have helped but Crumbar didn't heal his hammer he just got a new one so if we lost <laughs> Eric would we just get a new Eric <laughs> <laughs> Um, objects can't always be mended. Um, and he kind of like squints at you as if he doesn't get what you mean. Like he doesn't get the difference you're trying to highlight. Okay. Um. Well, Crumbar did not fully break Eric there, but the hammer was broken yonder. There are points at which things or people can be damaged from which there is no return. The hammer was hit, was was such, such a damage um, that we wouldn't be able to fix. But um, obviously because they weren't trying to actually kill each other, just, just to try to figure out which one of them is best with their hammers and such um they didn't allow it to get to that point does that make sense you can see he's still kind of like trying to process everything you've said he's doing this kind of deep thought or almost kind of staring off into space thing and um, like kind of down at the ground and he's like see if either of us was a a master um you know, was was able to make weapons. Maybe we would have been able to fix the hammer as well, but that's not what we do. And somebody else might be able to fix it. Somebody might be able to make that hammer work again. Um, but that's not something we we could have done anyway. But between people, and especially between people that have been through as many things as we have been together, um, they weren't actually trying to each other just to see which would be better in a confrontation. It's just some people's way of having fun. And I'm I'm kinda like obviously not really happy about it, but you know, it's not my thing, but okay, like, I'm I'm just trying to convey that I don't really approve Yeah. And he, he looks up and he like stares at you for a second and you can see that his his eyes are kinda of saying a wee bit more than he's saying. And then he, uh, he kind of just says, If I break, can you make sure I get mended? Well, we always ask you to stay behind so that we don't break you. Well, so that whatever foes we encounter can't get to you. But if you were to get injured, I promise I'll do everything I can to, to heal you, okay? And I'm sure the others would be the same. And if you ever need, in my bag, there's always going to be health potions, okay? And he kind of just, like, he's slowly doing that nod where, like, the only reason you can tell his head's moving is because his hair slightly moves over his shoulders. Oh. Uh, he, um, he says, Okay. Um, 
I don't think I like hammers. And then he goes to like, shake <laughs> your hand and like you just kind of like walk out of the room, I guess. Fun that. Oh. Um, well, I'll tell you a secret. Neither do I. <laughs> There's much nicer weapons out there. And I think as you just like head out of like the arm, like the kind of like courtyard spying area, as it were, sparring room. And um, I think the last shot we've got in that room is like the floor tile just slowly glowing gold as it slowly just knits itself back together and just clips <laughs> back in place. Nice. Um, right, uh, does anybody have anything to do before we leave the citadel? We can just get you on a boat, quite frankly. Find a healer. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, you're going to have a week or so to do that, so just try no more games. Hmm. <laughs> I mean... I understand that was probably revenge for me hitting me hitting him in the abyss, so yeah. <laughs> Let's just say that any progress on the Aramis relationship yeah. scale has maybe been knocked back a bit on <laughs> both Grumbar and Eric, but yeah. Uh right, yeah, so anything else to do in the Citadel then for MD? Besides uh, finding yep. a bag for all those uh, bread rolls that she's found. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh no, they've already been eaten. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> I'm not Kitty, the that queen bread of meat. bread. Like <laughs> <laughs> bread makes you fat. Um, <laughs> oh shit. So yeah, use a uh, fatty little kill. We can just skip to obviously you guys getting a boat, and then uh, we can have you guys start sailing if you wish. I mean, uh, you guys missed a, a prime opportunity to tell me to stop loafing around, but yeah. okay. <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> oh god uh, but yeah I think um, let's have it end there I think that's a good place to end it uh, mm -hmm. with you guys just like sailing off on a boat I think um, I probably don't want to name these people because you'll just get them killed <laughs> right um, just what seems to happen yeah so he's obviously travelled by camel there's a couple of days obviously of travel by camel as you remember um, so I take so, it we've uh, we've had another long rest by now. Yeah, you'll have rested on the way up. Oh, and they put everyone back up. Yeah. Um... Oh, if we'd have done that. Oh, I would have gone out all out from the start, goddamn. I mean, I think you did know you were going to leave the Golden Order at some point, so that's really <laughs> Well, you cheated. Yeah. Um... I didn't cheat. I still use my, my hammer to use that lightning. Uh, but yeah, yeah. so that mm. happens. Uh, yeah, he's got a boat and we'll sail off. And I think as you start to sail away, um, obviously, maybe we'll just have Aramos say something cheeky as the last line. Like, I hope it goes better than the last trip. Uh, <laughs> little <laughs> shit. Um, and then, obviously, we do that kind of fade out there. Uh, what would you like to call the session? I like the name that you put up there. Um, oh, objects well, cannot be mended. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... It's, I, I like really that. like... Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Stop <laughs> barbecue. <laughs> oh god, that's Yeah, I was gonna say I'll pop that in again as well. Rooftop barbecue, objects cannot be mended. Um there was the one that um Zabreka said, which was bring us hope. And he's a Dreka even. Or barbecue versus Fimblebart. A full party. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to reward attendance, you know? Okay. <laughs> but... <laughs> a full party is definitely apt. Um, <laughs> any any winners in there? Right, so Eric, would you like uh, that list? Oh, we've got typers. Oh, yeah. And I missed uh, a barbecue at the bar, but okay. Uh... <laughs> I mean, do you yeah. have any hope? I don't think you've got a hope yet, right? Yeah. These are looking no. for also, also we'll get sued. I like the um and your hope would be better. You could get away with it maybe. Uh 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 What about everybody else? But are you? Ah, you there's quite a few of them there, I like to be honest. <laughs> full, full part. <laughs> uh, anything that stands out? Stu? <laughs> Objects cannot be amended, and I do like my rooftop barbecue, yeah. but that's, <laughs> I can't say which one's best, but yeah. Ah, ah, ah. 
have an idea. I have an idea. I feel part of that last one actually. So, Second one is better. <laughs> That's... You feel? Please tell me somebody got that reference. How to break your hammer? <laughs> How to train your dragon? Mm -hmm. I couldn't help myself. I okay. just, I just, I just really want a quote, Doc. Uh, Doctor Horrible. <laughs> Good old Which one? one? Uh, right, so do I have a winner in this list? <laughs> God, what? It's a line in Doctor Horrible. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Um. Right, so he's returned from the abyss. You know that rare event. Mm -hmm. He's there, mm -hmm. debriefed briefly. <laughs> Is it Dereka? Well, that's the thing. Like that's why I like the objects can't be mended because it's like. That kind of, we're on about fixing the abyss and stuff like that as well. Oh. It's, honestly, it's kind of why it stood out to me, to be honest. Um, yeah. Wow. Just ban Eric from the channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's loads. I mean, backswing is also valid for so many things that happened in this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm being horrible because I'm thinking I'm, I'm just making a lot of uh, of of puns like right, well, we'll going at least where it's gone ones. but returning right, possible journeys because it's impossible yeah. to journey back from the abyss but yeah, I just, to... yeah. yeah just I gotcha I like that right so I'm gonna cycle back to this since there seems to be a million options just now uh, goals let's deal with Best goals then. so how do people feel about goals? So inform GGW of the Abyss situation. So he's happy with yeah. that being the ongoing goal? Mm, I'm actually I mean, expecting you all thought that would be a nice easy one. but <laughs> I didn't think it would be. To be fair. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe we should just be like talk, uh, something about reaching Commander Silvas. Like, we don't like, we could go over there and it could be like some weird demon guys like the pirate dudes. Attacked, they might have attacked the Glitter oh, area. I want the pirate dude to show up again. <laughs> so that I can punch him. How do you know he's not been with you the whole time? Yeah, we don't know. It's your hammer, by the way. <laughs> well, he's probably not with us anymore if you followed us into the abyss. Well, I mean, I've got I mean, his it's... dagger. I swear to God, see if it was a bloody dream of that bloody kid, I might kick him in the face. <laughs> right, you know you're going to have to stop calling everything a dream from the kid, right? <laughs> no, it happened one time, therefore it's everything like, is... In front of like the royal trials for crimes against the kingdom in front of the wizard king, and it's like, it was a dream, I tell you, I, I, I'm clearly innocent. <laughs> bloody kid. Cop the insanity, please, you'll get away. <laughs> oh. Um, right, so happy to leave that as the active goal, or just want to like maybe put it back into the pending list and put something more achievable in the short term? Like, what's the thoughts? I feel like it should get back in the pending, and we should be looking for something more short term. It's what, what would be your short term goal then? Survive the sea. <laughs> Can't be. Well, watch out that for would be pirates. Going one, survive the sea. I think that was good. I, tough, that before, but yeah. I feel like it should be some as uh, simple as meet with Commander Selbass. Some of that will reach next. Vice Commander Hagen of the of the uh, Abyss and try and get them to reinforce. Where is it exactly we are? Golden Citadel. Yeah. So, user down south, right? I'll move us back to the world map, right? Yeah, um, can you do that? Right, so I'll put us back on that. Hasn't actually got another name, though, other than the Golden Citadel in it? There's not a no, city name. No, it's it's just a giant kind of. It's the Golden Citadel. Yeah. The Golden right, Order. Uh, right, so. Right, I'm going to move us to the other map, actually. Are, are we not like the. Uh, are we not like there? So, yeah. Yeah. The red Technically, square. the red square. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, mm. use our... and the... there, and then you're going to be sailing. Do, 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 do. Yeah, back to here. 
but the route's probably going to be like do 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 especially if I'm driving again but yeah don't put me in a wheel but yeah you're heading that way and it's I mean might even take up to two weeks who knows how long it's going to take took a week there three weeks back I mean really it depends on the current you can afford yeah, I was thinking because technically I would probably go to the side towards left, but then at that, I would probably go that, that way. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Legitimately, magic currents doesn't give a shit about yeah. the water direction. Yeah, no, it's more so the amount of bricks and Other stuff. Other boats are going to be using it. I was thinking. But, yeah, yeah, it's. Um... Can we use some magic raisins instead? <laughs> okay, so let's go. No, this way. Right, I mean, you could there. you could ask the boat to go somewhere else. You don't need to go to Glitterhagen, like. But that's pretty much like what Zadreka would have arranged for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, don't really have anywhere else. Well, we how many could years are you spending on this boat, Grumber? Yeah, except for the mage. <laughs> this is my life now. I mean, well, if you, you I yeah. mean, Horizons there. If you. In fact, to yeah, that's a good point. Is that a magic boat? Can we just go that way? Uh, like, well, you can do 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 and go to. Horizon. Can we do that? I mean, what? Do we go can speak we... to the princess? Or try and get an audience with her? Yeah, so Maybe like, all the... Yeah, the great gold worm. <laughs> um... Where would the great gold worm go? You would think you would go to the abyss. If you What's have... that way? Oh. I mean, he might. Yeah. Just to see an ocean. Here be dragons. Right. Yeah, let's um, go actually, that way. It is actually known as the Iron Sea of Monsters, so not many people come back from going that way. Let's nice, let's go, let's go power level. Oh, to be fair, like, you did make me get back from the abyss, so I mean, that was pretty dodgy as well. Just the same. Kind of... yeah. I'm not going to lie, I actually expected somebody to die. I mean, like, nearly. full on dead. Is that a big giant skull on the map? What the hell? What, where? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? I, thought it was, I always thought that was like a dead dragon or something like that. A bears. Maybe. No, uh, no, like, like scary dragon the face. The only person that's even remotely familiar with this area is a well, you guys for the Golden Order area, and then Kitty for like Horizon. <laughs> that's it. We could go meet Kitty's family. Never said uh, they don't, were in don't Horizon. Have family. Yeah, I was gonna say Kitty's familiar with Horizon. Not that she's from there. <laughs> huh. Uh. Well, well, so are we like to Glitter Hagen anyway? That is what we want to do. Yeah. Us. But so, yeah. how about informing Glitter Hagen as well? Of well, mind you, you'd expect the Golden Order Citadel might have done it, but uh. well, she did say she'll send words, so you can expect like he'll expect your arrival. Yeah, yeah. So he's expecting. So if we should probably go there first, and if we want to go to Horizon afterwards, with what we've learned, if we don't learn enough or anything, then maybe it's probably wise to enlist someone else's help and the princess just story is quite strong so maybe we could go try tell her and keep her away from a hammer because she'll probably do something to it mm. well that's the thing that's... do you actually want to go to somebody that might just take your toy from you nah I'd rather die first mm. well she took it from me it's my hammer it speaks to me wow <laughs> I just sort of give you a side eye look like we oh, found no. it. It's ours. <laughs> it's my precious. Um right, okay. So what's the goal situation? What are we doing with that? And are we moving that back? Yeah, probably um go speak to Commander Selbass, I'd say. It should be our next goal. Or go meet with him if we can't speak with him. Because if he's dead for some weird unknown reason, uh as long as we meet with his body, we've technically fulfilled that goal. Wow. So what would it be then? Update or bring up to speed Commander Slelbass? Because um, obviously meeting him isn't exactly a goal, right? You could yeah. meet him. You could just turn up at the golden kind of chapter, as it were. And be like, shake his hands yeah, and keep going. Exactly, right? <laughs> so, I guess, like, see if uh, Sel uh, Commander Selbass knows where the gold, the great gold worm is. So, yeah, is it maybe like, I don't know, look for clues as to the whereabouts of the great gold worm? Is that it? Is that the goal you're trying to achieve? 
That is real. Because that's a big uh, goal. That's to find the great gold worm goal, right? So. Yeah. But finding clues to where it is isn't like the end. Yeah, that's not the end. Actually, it's... finding them. That's, yeah. So. That's reasonable, I would say. So is it, um, I don't know, find a clue to the whereabouts of the great gold worm? Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah, do you want to write that up as well? Else, so. Yeah, that's or not even like whereabouts. You like a way to contact him because that would be enough. Mm -hmm. Like if I know to contact him, he would have the means to get it but yeah. to us. But the issue seems to be you know, he's a god where basically mere mortals, so mm -hmm. it, that's um... The only thing. So if we, even if we don't find out where he is, just finding a way to contact him would be very precious, I think, in the long scheme of things. So I'm going to update the goal then, on the goals page, and uh, we'll have that set in stone then as our, our next step then. Like, I guess it's find a way to contact the Great Gold Worm. Is that what he's wanted to be now? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be the ultimate goal, can it? Aye, at the moment, yeah. Because you can throw them into pending goals, because if you look at the gold digger sheet on the, the Excel document, we've updated yeah. all that now, Stu. It's new and yeah. fancy. Yeah. Right. We've rubbish... Uh, Shut your bombs. face! So, now, on that note, back to naming this thing, so we can do a wrap-up chat. Uh, what are we actually settling on? Because I noticed the thing that's got the most views or the most uh, ticks on it is not getting selected. Uh, <laughs> you could call it uh, acting high commander. Uh, is a director? I don't know if he's really wanted to call it that. No, I, I like the objects. Can some the object mended? Blah blah blah. Broken thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. So I've got Scott's vote. I uh, Callum. What's your vote? Real soap. Right. Are you? Aka Adri. <laughs> I'll go with objects and I'll be under that easiest. Cool. Kitty? Okay, so I quite like uh, the Lord Barbecue versus Fumble Bear. Cool. Fumble Bar. <laughs> Reach. I guess too. Ah, that was cool as well. As, uh, uh, oh. Actually. Okay. I'll go with objects uh, mended, cannot be mended. Right. Three votes then. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'll pass I was on. either that or something nobody voted for, so it was going to be that. So, that or yeah. doubling up on the <laughs> vote and then having to do a second row of voting. Objects cannot be mended. Um, yeah, when you'd said that, um, Arya, I just, I don't know, I really liked the way it kind of resonated in the kind of. Like situation for everything, I felt it did actively sum up everything. Um, hence why I typed it up when you'd said it, because I'm like, yeah. oh, that's good, and I feel like that would uh, hit sometimes Ermos objects as well. can't be mended, yeah. Because obviously, I mean, think of Eremos's life experiences. He is in love with books. Like, yeah. if someone were to break one of his books, you would be. Yeah. Uh, if we could fix it. If it was, for example, to go on fire or something. Also, think of the way he's... I mean, for all I know, his books might be waterproof, like, who knows? Think... Uh, fireproof. But, like, think of the way he's been treated by, say, somebody like Crumbar. He's been treated like an object, right? Crumbar mm. expects him to be this amazing, the Black Fang spear. And yeah. And then he just watched Crumbar chuck away his hammer when it got broken. <laughs> like, yeah. that's going to mess the kid up. So, yeah. And then it obviously yeah, I was trying to plan it, you know, we've got your back, and if <laughs> ever I can't heal you, I get my back, get a healing potion. I know, it was good, so I it hope that, that bit of reassurance. a good yeah. message. Oh, good. Um, but yeah, let's do a wrap-up chat then. So, let's start with Eric, I guess. Hmm. I like my hammer. My hammer likes me. <laughs> There is definitely a hammer connection. I feel uh, a nice shocking connection with him. I think I've also fixed it. If you like roll it again and do damage again, it should add a plus one. No, that's just your... I don't know what that is. 
but that's not it. <laughs> that was my weak spot. That's a mess. No. Oh, wait. Like. Ah. Uh, uh, one and. Nope, you're still doing spells. Sorry, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you'll just have to add one from your hammer. Fair. Uh. Um, as long as you're using your hammer as a focus. I think I'm pretty sure that'll be my my go to now. And I love my ring, but my ring will stay on my finger, but it will always be the hammer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right now that That just reminds me of, you know, Whitney Houston, I will always love you sort of thing. Like I will I will always say <laughs> The hammer did require attunement, just so as you know. Uh, I should probably just type that into the description somewhere for it. Um I'm just going to type it right at the start, I guess. Um, yeah, getting them is critical for that, yeah. Uh, nice. uh, the reason for that is because you can only be like attuned to three items maximum, things that require uh, attunement. Uh, and also okay. just because it speaks to you and nobody else, quite frankly. Um, it speaks to me. But yeah, that's at least that coded. I assume you read all the text at the bottom as well. Uh, Yes, uh, there is something uh, I was going to bring up. Okay, we'll bring it up. It's your time to chat about the game. Um, you get the Iron Storm ability slash spell. Hit a service and create a free times three square, uh, which instantly transports you and eight willing creatures of your choice that you can see within range. So that's like, what is the range? And is that is that the 20 to 60? Is that the range? No, it just told you. The three by three. So where can I tell you about anyway? Well, remember that part where you were in the abyss and then everybody stood around you? Okay, yeah, now I want to, There's like... There's oddly eight specific squares around you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I'm just saying, because it just says you can see within your range. I didn't know whether that meant the eight people around me or where I can teleport to. That means you may need a torch to be able to teleport to anyone. No, why don't you have a look at the teleport spell? And look at the rest of the dial, like the the text from that. That's probably going to be a better hint as to where you can go with the spell. Yeah, there was a reason I didn't put a wall of text in to your uh, <laughs> every time you hit with the hammer. And we have to scroll three pages up to find if you hit or not. <laughs> can you see the wall of text the teleport spell is? Oh my lord. So There's much to read. Homework for next time, Cal. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it works ever so slightly different to via hammer than it does via that spell. It's a seventh level spell. What the hell? Yeah, and currently you don't have yours charged. You've used yours. Huh. Oh god, yes, I just realized. Yeah. <laughs> what? So do I have to, like, spend four sorcery points, long rest, spend four, long rest, spend two? Yeah. Cool. I'm just gonna, like, like zap into it all of a sudden. Blue skies everywhere! <laughs> like, oops. Yeah, it's a, it's a thirsty hammer. Yep. Ah, but good. But it, it basically gives you the teleport spell. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Yeah. Ten, ten sorcery points for a level seven spell when I'm level five, four? Yeah, sure. I'll take that. Yeah. Can't guarantee it's always going to take you where you want to go. Yeah, you might just be like, oh, you're back in the abyss. Mm -hmm. Welp. But, I mean, it's like when you got Pokemon that are higher than your level <laughs> and they like don't obey you. Yeah. Like you've got to <laughs> level scrub. Like, like maybe the fact that the hammer got defeated in combat, maybe it was sent Crumbar somewhere else when you try and take everybody somewhere. <laughs> um. So, will I see the roll when uh, you do the D100? No. Ah. Uh. Uh, as I said, yours doesn't work exactly like the teleport spell, but that'll just give you the best idea of how it works. Uh, <laughs> False destination. What happens <laughs> is, you will tell me where you're thinking of when you smack the ground or whatever with the hammer to create that red hole. <laughs> and then things will fall into the red hole. See, do you see, did you do the D100 last time then? No. Ah. <laughs> That'd have been funny. No. Uh, I 
was just going to take you back to the place you had the mistress. That's what you said. Because that, that would have come under the lot viewed once. So, anything else to add about the game that isn't just squeeing over the hammer? I like. Uh, also, I like the fact that a god, according to your perceptions, handed you this. <laughs> yeah. What were you expecting it to be like? Shocking grasp. Uh no. Shocking <laughs> grasp level two. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the higher level testing. Yes. Uh, anything else to add then? Nah, that's everything. It's pretty cool. I like my hammer. Good. Uh, uh, I don't I like just, getting hit in the face with a hammer. I like the whatever. name of it given the conversation we had as well. It, it fits very well as a name of a hammer for your character. Uh, yes. Aria Bluebird. Well, I, I'm just happy that we're back. And I don't have to worry about keeping everybody else alive. Not when half the party try and kill themselves anyway in the spying room, yeah. <laughs> it, well, yeah, but they're doing it in, like, in a controlled environment, you know. And worst case scenario, you know, we could probably ask for, like, help and somebody else like, cast a very high-level cure wound sort of spell, so I'm not, I wasn't that worried about them, like, brawling just there. No matter how bloody I got. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, I'm happy to be reunited with Rhea. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure Emma's will be happier where the books are and all that jazz. You know, <laughs> if not for the fact that we left already. Ha <laughs> <laughs> um, But yeah, I'm just happy to have my bird back and to be out of there and a bit shocked that it took us two months. But, yeah, right, yeah, two months have passed. Yeah. Crazy. That's been good. Mm hmm. Krumba, Benibook. I like the fact that me and Eric got to finally have a wee batter in each other. Was he work through the party? Like... Mm -hmm. I'm coming no, back. I, I, I think it's something it's been building up between me and him, yeah. so it's been good that that's finally been able to... Distressing the kid, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, that was good. Uh, anything else you that? Uh, no. I don't know. I liked it. I just, yeah. I just, I thought today, I thought today was really good. Everyone had a lot of input into it. Like no one was really taking a back seat. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on by everyone. I like that. Indeed. Thank you for being present. No shade. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's good. <laughs> uh, Kitty. I just find it really funny how we've like come from the abyss and we're not traumatized not at all my extra eating habits does not indicate that i am traumatized in the slightest um, <laughs> just like did we all sleep well or did we have nightmares because like i'm pretty sure we'd have had a little bit of you know some issues well that could be a conversation on the boat right you could talk about mm. that right like do you sleep well because i mean you'll have had travel from like you'd have slept in there well or unwell Travelled a couple of days up to the boats on camels. Um, that probably wasn't great sleeping outside in the dark, right? Maybe that mm. was upsetting. Then obviously you'll have the boat trip, so which will montage most of the boat trip, I think, to get used back to Glitterhagen unless anything happens on the way. Um, yeah. So if he's got anything he's want to like achieve on said boat trip, that's fine. Uh, well, you're eating though. You've got about what five weeks of eating to catch up on. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's that's the mentality behind it. I've missed out on this much food. Well, I best make up for that. <laughs> Got ground to cover, yeah. Uh, any add? No, I'm good. Good, good. Reach. Go oh, on, nobody's mentioned, but I actually quite like Zadreka. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I liked her as well. She's got her reasons for being a. Yeah, right. Awkward person. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. one way. Like, wait, everybody's, that race. everybody's left me. They didn't invite me on this super cool popular trip to the abyss, and I got left holding the fucking boat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I liked the checker. She was cool. The fate of the world's now in my hands. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's like, oh god, bring this one, and you walk in with a key to hell. What? What's that about? <laughs> oh my god, these are idiots. Like, who tries to break into the high commander's office? You just wait till you're invited in. You waited like all of what ten seconds before you smashed the hammer into it. I love it. Like it's... yeah, I didn't realize that was happening. 
It's perfect. It was so good. But yeah, no, it was fun to introduce her. I is like, you know, <laughs> the current head of the Golden Order. Always good. Um I like Jet personally, nobody mentioned him in our chats. Uh, old man Jet. I love the mm -hmm. idea that there's a hazing He's ritual. Guy. Right. He's just the epitome of NPC. Yeah, or like the butler from the Lara Croft two, is it? <laughs> oh my god. Tomb Raider two. <laughs> the Lara Croft two, yeah, where am I? Um, Tomb Raider 2, we're like locking them in the freezer and all that, yeah. Oh, honestly, he would scare the crap out of me. It was just a zombie noise. Mm -hmm. With a rattling kind of like train and whatnot. But I just love yeah. the idea that you can hear Jet coming down the corridors because he's talking to nobody <laughs> about like how the floors have been made in a specific part of like Santa Cora, which is like the city off to like the, the, the east uh, from where you are. And it's like, nobody's even listening, Jet. Who are you talking to? Who told you this? <laughs> it's like the hazing where you send yeah. someone to like yeah. go like learn from him or something <laughs> if you can survive a day spending time with jet you get to be part of like i don't know zigma is like a paladin or whatever <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no it was good it was a good session it was nice to get you um well a bit more relaxed than the abyss and hell and problems and whatnot uh and i guess welcome to chapter three everybody uh, try not Yay. to get the captain or the, his potential partner killed of this new boat. Uh, ideally, that'd be great. Big thumbs up everyone. It could be the same boat captain. He's just managed to find a new partner in, like, what, the two months? Yeah. Is it we've been... Shotgun wedding. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's not a rebound much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just sort of get on really awkwardly, like, hi! And evidently we find out how uh, racist everybody was as well, apparently. Um, not yeah. everyone. I mean, how many people voted Drew? Uh, no, that just, was all... Just, just, just Eric. Oh. Oh, no, that was all like... One in there. There's one of you in there as well. I think it's an angry burb. Um, it is an angry burb. An angry burb. That, is, that is my angry react. Um, so good, good, good. At least somebody's standing up for good old Zedraka. I'm just saying, I come from a dwarf trading city, right? Yeah, I know. Racist I'm on the dwarf right? side. Yeah, that does make sense though, right? Like the idea that you might instinctively be a bit more against... Drug. Plus on mobility. <laughs> I look down on the other races. Wow. Literally every member of the party. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're the token human. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And Aramos, I guess. But he's a token kid. So he's different. As like Wesley was never you know. Well, he's kid. been ten for as long as he's been ten. Yeah. Ten for as long as how long he's ten. Yeah. Most ten year olds are as long uh, for a ten as long as they're for yeah. ten. Yeah. yeah. But... I mean I don't think he's ever misled you. Quite frankly. I mean, we should try to find out when his birthday is. Just saying. When was you born? What's born? <laughs> like when oh, this turn eleven. <laughs> it's when you come out of your mother. What do you mean, come out of my mother? Then he's never actually remember oh, he explained God. that he didn't know what a mother or a father was or all that. So that's a whole kind of we pass for next week. Um, yeah. Do you want to go in there though? <laughs> uh, I would say then. Thanks for everybody who stayed listening this far. Um, Down with a drought. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for playing, guys. It was nice to have a full party uh, and a full party. Um, Yay! Excellent. Uh, goodbye, everybody, I guess. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.